I've trumpet vine arbor the throats of the little red trumpet flowers are wide open, and the clangor of brass beats against the hot sunlight they bray and blare at the burning sky. Red. Red. Coarse notes of red, trumpeted at the blue sky in long streaks of sound, molten metal, the vine declares itself. Clang, from its red and yellow trumpets. Clang, from its long, nasal trumpets, splitting the sunlight into ribbons, tattered and shot with noise. I sit in the cool arbor. In a green and gold twilight it is very still, for I cannot hear the trumpets, I only know that they are red and open, and that the sun above the arbor shakes with heat my quill is newly mended, and makes fine drawn lines with its point down the long, white paper it makes little lines, just lines, up, down, crisscross. My heart is strained out at the pinpoint of my quill, it is thin and writhing like the marks of the pen my hand marches to a squeaky tune. It marches down the paper to a squealing of fifes my pen and the trumpet flowers, and Washington's armies away over the smoke tree to the southwest. Yankee Doodle, my darling. It is you against the British, marching in your ragged shoes to batter down King George. What have you got in your hat? Not a feather, I wager just a hay straw, for it is the harvest you are fighting for hay in your hat, and the whites of their eyes for a target like Bunker Hill, two years ago. When I watched all day from the housetop through father's spyglass the red city, and the blue, bright water, and puffs of smoke which you made twenty miles away, round by Cambridge, or over the neck, but the smoke was white, white. Today the trumpet flowers are red, red and I cannot see you fighting, but old Mr. Diamond has fled to Canada, and Myra sings Yankee Doodle at her milking the red throats of the trumpet spray and clang in the sunshine and the smoke tree puffs dun blossoms into the blue air I I the city of falling leaves leaves fall, brown leaves, yellow leaves streaked with brown they fall, flutter, fall again. The brown leaves, and the streaked yellow leaves, loosen on their branches and drift slowly downwards one, one, two, three, one, two, five all Venice is a falling of autumn leaves brown, and yellow streaked with brown dot that sonnet, abate, beautiful. I am quite exhausted by it. Your phrases turn about my heart and stifle me to swooning open the window, I beg. Lord, what a strumming of fiddles and mandolins. Tis really a shame to stop and doors call my maid, or I will make you lace me yourself. Fie, how hot it is, not a breath of air. See how straight the leaves are falling. Mariana, I will have the yellow satin caught up with silver fringe, it peeps at delightfully from under a mandal. Am I well painted today? Caro abate mio. You will be proud of me at the redotto, hey proud of being cavalier servante to such a lady? Can you doubt it, bellissima contessa a pinch more rouge on the right cheek, and Venus herself shines less. You bore me, abate, I vow I must change you a letter, Achmet run and look out of the window, abate. I will read my letter in peace. The little black slave with the yellow satin turban gazes at his mistress with strained eyes his yellow turban and black skin are gorgeous. Barbaric the yellow satin dress with its silver flashings lies on a chair beside a black mantle and a black mask yellow and black, gorgeous, barbaric the lady reads her letter, and the leaves drift slowly past the long windows. How silly you look, my dear abate, with that great brown leaf in your wig. Pluck it off, I beg you, or I shall die of laughing. A yellow wall of flare in the sunlight, checkered with shadows, shadows of vine leaves, shadows of masks masks coming printing themselves for an instant, then passing on, more masks always replacing them masks with tricorns and rapiers sticking up behind pursuing masks with plumes and high heels, the sunlight shining under their insteps one, one, two, one, two, three, there is a thronging of shadows on the hot wall, filigreed at the top with moving leaves, yellow sunlight and black shadows, yellow and black, gorgeous, barbaric two masks stand together, and the shadow of a leaf falls through them, marking the wall where they are not from hat tip to shoulder tip, from elbow to sword hilt, the leaf falls the shadows mingle, blur together, slide along the wall and disappear gold of mosaics and candles, and night blackness lurking in the ceiling beams. Saint Mark's glitters with flames and reflections a cloak brushes aside, and the yellow of satin looks at over the colored inlays of the pavement under the gold crucifixes there is a meeting of hands reaching from black mantles sighing embraces, bold investigations, hide in confessionals, sheltered by the shuffling of feet gorgeous, barbaric in its mail of jewels and gold, Saint Mark's looks down at the swarm of black masks, 
and outside in the palace gardens brown leaves fall, flutter, fall, brown, and yellow streaked with brown blue black, the sky over Venice, with the pricking of yellow stars there is no moon, and the waves push darkly against the prow of the gondola, coming from Malamaco and streaming toward Venice it is black under the gondola hood, but the yellow of a satin dress glares out like the eye of a watching tiger yellow compassed about with darkness, yellow and black, gorgeous, barbaric. The boatman sings, it is Tasso that he sings, the lovers seek each other beneath their mandals, and the gondola drifts over the lagoon, a slant to the coming dawn but at Malamaco in front, and Venice behind, fall the leaves, brown, and yellow streaked with brown they fall, flutter, fall.